Knife defense is sort of bullshit. Knife defense is bullshit. Mm. Every knife defense course I've been to the entire first day, there's no knife. We're gonna talk about oh, knife defense. Oh. That's gonna be uh, yeah. main goal. Knife? How to, yeah, how to deal with a knife? What do you deal with a knife? How do you escape? Do you, should you use empty hands? Should you use another weapon? And then most important part, you're gonna get cut. How do you deal with it? I don't love that. Nah. I don't love the you're gonna get cut thing. I know it's a fun thing to say. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I'm sort of a hypocrite. Because I use a mantra similar in my kickboxing instructor. I say, hey, you're going to get hit. You're going to get tired. Let's keep going. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, you're, you probably will get cut. It's possible. It's mm -hmm. highly likely. It's hard to... It's, I'm, what's not going to happen is I'm not going to be like... Bink. You know? And you were supposed to... Oh, so, oh sorry. <laughs> Thanks. No, no, no. we go. <laughs> <laughs> you will, but I don't love... Because the context is different. Sport, mm -hmm. we put mouth guards in, we came to fight, right? Yeah. I want a, set more big, a bigger sense of urgency in a self-defense client. We'll say self-defense client. Client yeah. whose primary concern is that. This knife defense is sort of bullshit, right? Mm. And I've basically studied under three of the pro probably biggest guys in, the, in, in this industry right now. I have a certification in one of them. And all three will tell you they make their living traveling around, teaching knife defense. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the first things out of their mouth is some, they, they phrase it differently, sometimes more... Uh, gently, knife defense is bullshit. Mm. Every knife defense course I've been to, the entire first day, there's no knife. Sometimes the first two days are no knife. You know what we're working on? Dealing with hands. Hand control. Russian time, right? It's dealing with this hand, pin it here. Uh, if it's this one, dealing with this. We're wrestling. Mm. We're doing Greco-Roman wrestling. Nice. For eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, 16 hours. And then, at the end of the course, we do the same thing. We do the same thing. We get to deal with the knife, put him down, you know, hit him, whatever the mode is. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it's a more sh uh, striking force. And here's a big problem. We're already messing this up. The majority of knife attacks don't start with a knife. They start with a leveraging hand, right? Oh. Yeah, it'll be, they'll attach to you first. Yes. They'll grab the shirt. They'll, they'll, they're going to attach to you first and then do that. Yeah. This is, the, this is the dilemma, right? No one shoves that knife out there and we go, right? And then I stab him with his own knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't happen. That is true. That they is grab true. you they and grab then you. they, they <laughs> sewing machine that thing. So I have to train at picking which one I want to deal with. Mm. If I, this is where everyone's going to go. Without any training, everyone's going to be like, I get this. It's not a terrible idea. Mm -hmm. Most of the guys don't even teach like a certain, like there's all kinds of ways to deal with this. Or, yeah. You yeah. know, like, it, with it, yeah, however you think you're going to deal with it, and none of that shit going to happen if it's real. Mm -hmm. And we go live. Yeah. Which we'll do in a second. We'll do, well, we'll pull out something softer than that and do <laughs> some hard. live stuff. Um, but you get this, I might have to deal with this. Yeah. If this were a striking exchange and I'm just blocking this hand and he's jerking me and you're unbalanced. You push me, you pull me. Every time I go to do something to you, you change my posture and balance. I'm, ne I'm never I'm going to get cut to death, stabbed mm. to death. So largely it's wrestling, right? Yeah. So it's counterintuitive. Maybe I'm checking this, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm dealing with this and then trying to get this like nice. this. And this is, just this is just wrestling. This is just wrestling. There's nothing knife specific about this. I'm wrestling him, right? I'm trying to break his posture. I'm trying to get glued to him, suck to him, control the limb. Um, you know what they're gonna say? What if he switches hands? All right? yeah. Guess what? No one's ever done that. Yeah. No one's ever done that in any recorded knife attack. Because in my thought There's process, I'm still thinking, well, I want to attack you with this hand. Do you, do you know how people do it? Because it's a game, we're having fun, and we have time to think about it, we're not under stress. No there, panic. There, there's a study, a guy watched 170 something knife attacks. Mm -hmm. Vast majority of them, people led with the thing, and they never switched hands. It didn't happen one time in 170 knife attacks. Wow. Now, as far as the gun. Your question is, should I use a weapon? Do I want empty hands? Correct. Depends. Mm. All right. Am I this far apart? You have a knife? Do I yeah. think I can get it out before you get to me? Boom, 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 boom. What's the limit? 21 foot rule. No such thing. It's not a rule, all right? If you're this far, and I, you, I see that, and I start going to here, you're, not, you're, you're getting cut. me. Yeah, you're getting me. You're getting me. And, Ke and Kevin knows the moves. Don't let him fool you. He knows the moves. <laughs> He's asking me for the purpose of the video. He knows all the moves I'm showing. You know what I mean? But even if they don't know the moves, 
They know what this means. Yeah. And they can just get a hand, you know, and they're going to mess this up. It's going to be hard. Yeah. I'm just Maybe I can get him. Maybe I can get him. But yeah, I'm getting got. You have to fix the position. Just like in jiu-jitsu, you teach position yep. before submission. Correct. Just like in striking, we generally teach footwork first. Mm-hmm. I usually go with defense next. And this, then the striking will fall into place. Yeah. You know, but we got to have our position before we make our attack or our counter. You I mean, have to. Yeah. It's the same with that thing right there. Maybe I get this, but I've got to get this thing isolated. You know what I mean? I've yeah. got to get, I got to cool. deal with this. Yeah. In a gross motor sort of way. I'll tell you what ain't never going to happen in a million years. That guy right there. Wait, you were, it was supposed oh, to. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Take go. two. Man, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's see what that looks like. Oh, uh, I'll talk about this. Um, even with the gun, right? I have to deal with this. However that is. I gotta deal with this. Trap yeah. this. Oh, I'm screwed. I, I messed up, didn't I? I went the wrong way. But I, I couldn't pick what side I go to. I would do a duck under the other way mm -hmm. every other time if I'm armed. And I, he's not, but I had to deal with this. I gotta figure something out. Yeah. This ain't great. What's he gonna do? He's gonna get his arm out. He's gonna spin back into me. Great. This sucks. Yeah. I can't do that. Mm. I have to, I end up here, I screwed it up. We gotta do something. We gotta get him on that thing. We gotta get him. And, and, and then he's fighting the whole time. Yeah. yeah. Then I can do, I have to get the dominant position first before I go for this draw. The number one mistake I see people make in the courses, they reach for the gun. Knife comes and they go, ah, yeah. I just wanna do this. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Rolling the dice. Let's get a foam knife and go live. Sounds good. This is a knock knife. I really like these knives. Yeah. It's, um, we use a couple of different training knives. I like this one because it's firm enough that it's sort of real. Yeah. And depending on where we're at in training, I can hit ah. you kind of hard. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, at least you know. It's a, it's okay. I felt something. Yeah. You know, whereas if I use just super foam, super soft foam, it's yeah. not, it's, it's not, not real. I feel anything. So, um, we'll do a couple rounds. Okay. I'll come after you. You come after me. Generally, you will. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Um, uh, we'll just go from we'll just go from here. All right. All right. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh. I just died. I cheated. Yeah. <laughs> if you carry a knife for self defense, all the rules are the same. You have to get the position first before you draw it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. I didn't draw it. The, the logic would have been, you were expecting me to go. Yeah. I was waiting for it. I was like, because <laughs> in training, right? that's what they do. In real life, you don't, the knife doesn't come out until I'm already beating you up. That's true. Don't worry. You know this arm. Yeah. All right, you ready? We'll go start. I'll start from here. No, never this. Never <laughs> this. Never this, Kev. Never <laughs> this. <laughs> I have a choice. You've created a dilemma for me. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Ooh. That was hard. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. If me and Kevin said, let's just roll or clinch, yeah. we'd probably do that shit for five minutes. Yeah. <sighs> that creates a dilemma. Yes. And Kevin is a infinitely more experienced... Kevin's an infinitely more experienced grappler than me. But when I give you another dimension to think about, it's a game I've played, I've just played it a bunch. Yeah. And you're like, hold on, what would I do? You know? Yeah. Oh, I'm in trouble, he's a kind of strong pull guard. Yeah. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You know, <laughs> like, 
That'd be fine. Yeah. It worked out. You did the out. best you could with it. Yeah. Um, in real life, that was an arm break. My yeah. arm bar was, it was in. It was he was tight. up. And he only didn't break it. That's the only reason I was able to pull it out because he didn't break it. But you see, position matters even more. Mm -hmm. But our attention to position diminishes. Change a lot. Because we, well, good. We see this all the time in the courses. Whatever, whatever you're doing. Whatever you want to do, all right? Let's see this, all right? Uh -huh. Just, uh, you start passing, do whatever, do whatever. And I'm like stuck on this knife. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, I'm obsessed with the knife. Yes. You know, think about it. You're down. I'm here. This is terrible. What's your, what is your biggest problem in real life? Dude, I can't move in what's well. My position. Is move. that motherfucker right there? You know yeah. what I mean? But how do you prioritize dealing with this? It's hard. You know what I mean? Make a choice, kid. Right? Yeah, look. There we go. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Even you, with all your experience, once this is, you're like, oh, this is the problem. Yeah. Bullshit. Do that again. And none of this, none of this, I, this is not a technique. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kevin didn't. Kevin stumbled on the technique. Yeah. You thought it was this. Well, yeah. So then it's you like address a... this the way you would as I'm stabbing. My stab went here. Mm -hmm. My hand goes to the mat. What does that mean? That's free. Arm bar. Free sweep, free arm bar, free. You get their hand on the mat. It's whatever. If there's a knife in their hand, they have even less manual dexterity. Mm. Fixing your position solved the problem. I agree. Address the knife. All right. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Address it. Get it. Get it. Get, the, get the knife. Get the knife, cat. Address the position. Address the position. Address the position. That's crazy. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I hope that answers. Fix the, the position. You know what question and answered? They went, oh shit. I don't know any knife defense. <laughs> if you're doing this. Oh. That works. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. All right, thank you, sir. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave your comments in the section below, and I'll leave all the information in the description box. I'll see you guys next week.